So there's something really important I want to show you guys. And um, when I uh, create your photos, I talk about this a lot. And I want you to slow down when you're taking your photographs. So I'm going to show you an example of that. So taking photographs is about discovering your subject. This is how many pics I took of that pineapple. I got super excited. I was making chili and I see it from across the room. I was like, oh my God, that's beautiful. So when you find that in life, right, make sure that you, your, your phone becomes something that um, almost like a sketch pad, almost like a, a observation notebook. If you're studying something, you continue to study and continue to study. And you'll find that as these things unroll for you, that they become um, really engaging. So here's the deal. I started, what did I say? I started over here. And this isn't a great shot. You know, there's there's stuff going on. I could come in and crop it. And then I'm starting to see where the shadows are hitting and how I'm lining that up in the picture frame. And then here, this is big. So I'm taking it from dead on straight, straight looking down. Here, I start to say, okay, what happens if I shift my perspective? Right, so I start to tilt the camera. I start to look at it on the side. And then I'm evaluating my edges and my composition. I'm like, ah, is that working for me? I don't know, right? Come back up, study it again from, from the top down, right? And I've only twisted my body, like literally four inches or leaning back on my, on my back foot for my weight. I'm still getting, you know, still getting something that's kind of similar, eh, you know, all right. I feel like I'm duplicating now, but I'm still studying it. I'm still making sure it's in focus. I'm um, still making sure that the uh, exposure is on. And this continues, right? Now, I really start to say, okay, let's take a step back and look what's going on. One of the things that really attracted to me to this was looking at how the light was interacting with the subject and the shadows it was casting, right? That figure ground relationship, the positive and negative space. So when I come back here, I'm getting more and more into it, more into it, more into it more into it. Okay, still kind of repetitious of what I was doing before. I'm becoming a little more conscious of how it's sitting in my rectangle here. Um, I say, oh God, I got that edge, not what I'm looking for in the lower uh, right hand side. That's a problem for me. And then I start to get cleaner in my shot and cleaner in my shot and cleaner in my shot. And then I start getting down a little bit closer in my shot. Make sure that you're throwing that slider on your focus all the way, because you'll find maybe you get something in focus, push it further to make sure that uh, there's not more that you can get in focus. Continuing, kind of shifting my body weight. Now I get somewhere. Now I'm like, oh, I didn't see how beautiful that yellow was and how it's interacting with the green. And then I see it in lower left-hand corner, I got this kind of shadow that's happening. I don't know if that's really for me. So I start to get a little bit closer. Can I edit that out? Then I take back here. This is when it happens for me. This is the shot. That's the magic moment. It took me oh, maybe like five minutes, three minutes of taking pics, but I took so many pictures of there finally to arrive at this position. And I want you to consider that. And just to go back to my camera roll here, one of the th good things you should consider doing right, is that raw files are very large. With that in mind, if you are, if you got a lot of data on your phone, it's not a bad idea to come in and start clearing that stuff out before you get into taking a lot of pics, a lot of pics. I will unload these onto my laptop. Would I have to? No, I could go in and kind of just delete the ones that I'm not interested in and go from there. But make sure that your phone has memory because you're going to want it for this.